Minister Lamola says gender-based violence and femicide remain a priority for the Justice Department. He says government has made significant progress in fighting the scourge. Gender-based violence and femicide remains a political priority and a national concern that continues to erode peace and security in domestic relationships, communities and society at large. The core drivers of gender-based violence and femicide may be traced from the known social ills and gendered power inequalities, but the criminal justice system remains fundamental in prevention and deterrence. It is therefore the commitment of the department to create a court system that curbs secondary victimization and attrition in cases of gender-based violence and femicide. Since the passing of the Criminal and Related Matters Amendment Act of 2021, the department has made significant inroads towards the implementation. Among the certain challenges changes introduced by this act is the extension of intermediary services from criminal to civil and family law proceedings and the legal recognition of ad hoc intermediaries. In 2022, two new determinations of persons and categories of class of persons who are competed to be appointed as intermediaries were expanded to include the appointment of early childhood development practitioners and community trauma counselors and others.